Hi guys, I've had quite a few requests to do a rubber band powered car that uses three number 64 rubber bands and travels at least five metres. Uh, not even going to attempt to pronounce this name because I wouldn't know how to pronounce it. But he's made the request, or he or she, I wouldn't know. Um, I can't actually find any number 64 rubber bands handy. These ones here, I've just been measuring, and they're a little bit short. I think a uh, number 64 should be three and a half inches long, and this is about three and a quarter. It looks like it's about the right width, but it's a little bit shorter. And I've got three of them, so we'll use that. It just means it'll be slightly less power than the full-size rubber bands. So I'll join them together. I've had a look through my old rubber band powered car bits. And I've got this chassis here. It's just a piece of cardboard with a couple of bits of drinking straw hot glued to the back and a slot cut out to allow for the rubber band to rub wrap around the barbecue skewer axle. And then we've got another drinking straw at the front. So I need to cut a couple of barbecue skewers. Uh, that one's a bit short, so I'll find some full length ones. And some CD wheels, because that's what I always use. I'll put a link in the description so you can see how to make the CD wheels. But I'll just put this together and see if we can make it go 5 metres. There's the car, assembled. So it's the cardboard chassis, barbecue skewers for the axles, CDs for the wheels with bottle tops glued to the middle to fill in the holes and that also grips the barbecue skewer nice and tightly. I've put a short piece of barbecue skewer right in the middle of the axle there so that we can hook the rubber band on. So that will just hook over there, so we can wind it up. And I've put some sticky back paper on the cardboard just to make it look a bit prettier. Oh, and at the front we've got a bent paper clip, hot glue to the front, so we can hook the rubber band to the front there. In fact, I can do that now. Just push that through. So that's our connection at the front. And just wind it up at the back. So we better go downstairs and test it in the kitchen, see if we can get 5 metres. It's quite a thick rubber band, quite powerful, so we might have to put some rubber tyres on the CDs to give us grip. These are strips of rubber cut from rubber gloves, and I can stretch them over the wheels if I need to, to give us extra grip. I've got two of them. There's the other one. We'll try it without first, and if we get too much wheel spin, then we'll try these. Time for a test run. Usual situation. My kitchen is five metres long. So, if the car travels all the way along my kitchen, it does five metres. Well, it 
it did 5 metres, but it did a lot of wheel spin as it started. So I'll put those rubber tyres on it and we'll give it another go. That's a problem. That one's ripped. I'll have to go and get another one. There we go. Rubber tyres and a broken one. If we were using a less powerful rubber band, we wouldn't get so much wheel spin. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs> we missed the gap. Still went five metres, but I'll give it one more go. See if we can get it through the gap this time. more than five meters. Kitchen floor five meters long and we're now in my conservatory. So easy. Job done. But you do need to put rubber tires on to get extra grip. Or you could try adding weight to hold it down on the ground. 